Welcome to Security in 60 Seconds, the game show where GuidePoint Security's experts have 60 seconds to answer questions about their area of security expertise in exchange for fabulous prizes. I'm your host, Tristan Morris, and today's guest is Kristen Bell, Director of AppSec Engineering. Kristen, how are you doing today? Doing well. That is great. There's no time to lose, so let's get going. Today, Kristen will be competing to win $15 million in a room on an unnamed CEO's mega yacht. Kristen, are you ready? Yes. Going to need you to be a little bit faster. Your first question with 60 seconds on the clock is, does DevSecOps really even exist? So that's the question, right? I think we have um, a, a world in AppSec where developers want to move super fast and we're trying to inject uh, security in those processes. But the problem is that developers and DevSecOps are moving so fast that how do they actually stop and when do they stop to actually fix vulnerabilities? So in some senses, if you're moving that fast and you're not fixing, then you're not truly doing DevSecOps. So the question becomes, how do we get that security in there to make DevOps DevSecOps? An excellent response with time still left on the clock. Your second question with 60 seconds to go is AppSec exclusive to DevSecOps Go. Absolutely not. So we want application security and application security programs to work for everyone in the SDLC. Um, we want CISOs to be managing one program, not a bunch of different programs based on how their developers are developing or where siloed developers exist in the world. We want everybody on the same page, you know, on the same bus, going in the same direction, down the same, same path, same journey. A fantastic response, Kristen, with almost 30 seconds left on the clock when you were done. Now, your final question. I've heard it said that it's important to shift left when it comes to DevSecOps, but I've also heard that it's an infinite loop. How is it possible to shift left if you are constantly looping? 60 seconds and go. So the, the whole concept of shifting left isn't really about literally left, right? And I think some people are saying, well, you can't say shift left anymore. And it is buzzword, right? But, but buzzwords work and that's why they're out there. What we're really talking about when we talk about shift left or, or how to mature the AppSec program or how to really mature DevSecOps is to be educating developers on how to write secure code. You know, we still live in a workforce where most developers have not had exposure to that unless they've worked in an organization with a, a robust AppSec program. So these, 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 a lot of these um, concepts and the ever-changing landscape of vulnerabilities today, you know, is something that we are here to help keep developers educated and up to speed on. Um, and that's really the essence of what shifting left really means incredibly down to the wire with just five seconds left on the clock when you are done with your answer. Now, Kristen, you've done great so far, keeping ahead of everything, but we learned our lesson last time and know that for our final question, while you do have 30 seconds, you only get one chance to respond. Are you prepared for your final question? Not really. All right. Well, that doesn't matter to us. We're going to go ahead and go for it anyway. Your final question with just 30 seconds left to answer. In the 1880s, Americans were embroiled in activities in the lowest of low locations, like saloons and other establishments of ill repute. What pastime was created to distract them with wholesome fun? 30 seconds, go. Oh, goodness. Um, the Maypole? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. And that would have been a much older tradition, the Maypole. The answer we were looking for was roller coasters. Kristen Bell, thank you so much for joining us on Security in 60 Seconds, our special AppSec episode. We'll see you all next time.